So the transcutaneous bilirubin levels can be estimated based on measurements of the TCB. I mean the serum bilirubin can be estimated based on the measurement of the transcutaneous bilirubin and we get the instruments mainly from two manufacturers even though the others may be present as well. So the Dragger and Philips are the ones in US and there are other companies which make them as well. The devices measure the yellowness of the reflected light transmitted from the skin and they use an algorithm to predict the TSB level from the objective measurement of the skin color. So it's pre-recorded and there may be slight differences uh, according to the skin pigmentation level, the prematurity level of the baby and so on. So we should be careful about exactly taking these readings in certain groups. It's only a predictor. And also the TCB measurements do not directly assess the bilirubin level. So there will be differences in the lab variation of 2.5 to 3 milligrams percent. So they are only valid and reliable when used as a screening test to identify infants who need a TSB. And for the same reason, we don't treat on the basis of a TCB. We always need to get a TSB. Of course, you can monitor the trend based on the TCB. And even in the relatively more mature preterm babies in our unit, we use the TCB to act as a trigger to when to do the TSB. Of course, you cannot rely on that. If appropriate follow-up cannot be arranged for an infant recommended to have outpatient follow-up, discharge may be delayed. So this is a discussion we have with the family. We have to be clear about explaining the risk factors and then we take it from there. The TSB is generally within 3 milligrams percent of the TCB among newborn infants with TSB concentrations. Uh, so this is a rough rule, it can be plus or minus 3 milligrams. So the TSB should be measured if the transcutaneous bilirubin exceeds or is within 3 milligrams percent of the phototherapy treatment threshold or if the TCB is over 15 milligrams per deciliter. So you wouldn't risk it if it goes above 15, it could be fairly high as well and it may uh, need treatment. So you wouldn't rely on that, uh, even if it's below the treatment level for that age of the baby. If more than one uh, TCB or TSB measure is available, the rate of increase may be used to identify infants at higher risk of subsequent hyperbilirubinemia. So this is what we mean by following the trend. A rapid rate of increase of more than 0.3 milligrams per deciliter in the first hour uh, per hour in the first 24 hours or more than 0.2 milligrams per cent per hour thereafter is exceptional and suggests hemolysis. In this case, we should do a DAT and also consider uh, closely monitoring and working up the baby as this is likely to be uh, pathologic like hemolysis.